The third point that's very important is that none of this is new, um, at least not as new as it may seem. The roots of, of modern gender ideology can be traced all the way back to the 19th century, in fact, arguably even earlier than that. But it really began to take its current shape in the mid-20th century thanks to the work of two hideously evil crackpots named Alfred Kinsey and John Money. These are names that everybody should know and few people do. In the interest of time, I'll focus on John Money for just a moment. It's worth looking into Alfred Kinsey, though. Uh, we talk about him in the film a little bit, but an even deeper dive is worthwhile. If you do, in fact, do that, make sure to have a vomit bucket handy. Um, as for John Money, he was a prominent psychologist and sexologist and uh, one, of the, one of the early pioneers of the gender theories that are currently taught in grade schools and universities. He was among the first to take the word gender out of the realm of, of grammar and apply it to people. Because until him, you know, we never said that people have a gender. Well, people have a sex and gender is, words have gender. But he said, no, 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 uh, people have gender and sex. And he coined that. He also coined the terms gender role, gender identity, and sexual orientation. Suffice it to say, he was an extremely influential man, and anybody who propagates left-wing gender theory today is repeating at least some of the ideas of John Money, whether they know it or not, and most of them do not know it. That, fa that fact, I think, ought to trouble gender theory proponents because John Money was, among other things, um, a fraud and an abuser and a pedophile. Jumping to 1965, the birth of twins Bruce and Brian Reimer, um, the boys are born healthy except for a condition called phimosis, which affects the foreskin. And it was decided incorrectly, it turns out, that the best way to treat the condition was uh, circumcision. But Bruce's procedure went horribly wrong and his penis was uh, essentially burned off. After several months of grasping for answers, Bruce's parents eventually decided to take him to Johns Hopkins in Baltimore to see the renowned gender uh, surgeon, Dr. John Money. And the good doctor, eager to prove the legitimacy of his theory that gender is a product of environment and culture, recommended that Bruce undergo sex reassignment surgery. So before the age of, uh, of two, the deed had been done, his testicles were removed, some crude approximation of female genitalia was formed and um, Money instructed his parents to raise him as a girl and said that, well, this will work perfectly because gender is a social construct. So create a social construct of femininity for him and uh, he will be a her and that will be it, happily ever after. Well, not so. The Reimer parents tried to follow Money's advice, but they found that Bruce was still Bruce, even if they called him Brenda. It did everything in their power to preserve his fragile and false female identity. Gender is a construct, they were told. Why should a boy raised as a girl still have boyish tendencies? Still, ultimately, Money was convinced that his project had been a smashing success, and he bragged of his triumphs in many published works. But it was not a success. The female identity never took hold for Bruce. He was confused and miserable and on the verge of suicide, until as a teen, his mother finally told him the truth. Bruce chose immediately to transition back to a boy taking the name of David. Uh, he underwent another reassignment surgery, this time to try and reclaim his true self. And he felt better for a time, but neither his brother nor him himself lived happily ever after. Um, ultimately, they both ended up committing suicide. Now, their deaths go down in history as suicides, but they were both effectively murdered by John Money, who's the father of modern gender theory. And that's the birth of gender ideology as we know it today. It was born in abuse and despair and death. And that is what it has reaped ever since.